Assalamu alaikum Sri Dasha Kundali and welcome to our regular show, Politics and Beyond. আমাদের সাথে যারা সব সময় থাকেন তাদের জন্য বলছি যে এটা আমাদের ফার্স্ট প্রোগ্রাম এই বছরের আমি এবং আজম ভাই আমরা দুজনেই একটু ব্যস্ত ছিলাম এর জন্য আমরা বিগত কিছুদিন আমরা অনুষ্ঠান করতে পারিনি আর সামনে দিয়ে আমরা আপনাদের সামনে নতুন নতুন গেস্ট নিয়ে আমরা আবার পলিটিক্স সম্বন্ধে আলাপ করব যারা আমাদের সাথে আজকে প্রথমবারের মতো জয়েন করছেন তাদের জন্য বলছি আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রামটা মেইনলি হচ্ছে পলিটিক্স এবং পলিটিক্সের বিভিন্ন পলিসি এবং এটা আপনাকে কিভাবে আপনার জীবনকে কিভাবে সুন্দর করতে পারে এবং আপনি কিভাবে পলিটিক্সকে সুন্দর করতে পারবেন সেগুলি নিয়ে আমরা এই প্রোগ্রামে আমরা আলোচনা করে থাকি আমি আমাদের যথারীতি প্রোগ্রামে যাওয়ার আগে আমি আমাদের আজকের যে গেস্ট সেই গেস্টদেরকে আপনি পরিচয় করে দিচ্ছি আমার সর্বডানে আছেন আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় মণিভাই মণিভাই আমাদের রেগুলার কন্ট্রিবিউটার এবং উনি ইকোনমিক্স এবং ফাইন্যান্স নিয়ে বেশ ঘাটাঘাটি করেন এবং তার সাথে উনি উনি একজন এন্ট্রপ্রনিয়ার উনি প্রথম বাঙালি যিনি নাকি মিচিলেন স্টার পেয়েছিলেন ওয়েলকাম টু আর শো মনি ভাই আসসালামু আলাইকুম থ্যাংক ইউ ফর কামিং হোপফুলি উইল হিয়ার লট ফ্রম ইউ ট্রাই লটস অফ থিংস হ্যাপেনিং সো আওয়ার ডান পাশে আছেন अगेन আপনারা ওনাকে সবাই চিনেন উনি বিভিন্ন অনুষ্ঠানে কন্ট্রিবিউট করে থাকেন এবং বিভিন্ন পত্র পত্রিকায় উনি লেখে থাকেন এবং আমাদের এই আমাদের এই কমিউনিটিতে উনি আমাদেরকে ওনার সলিসিটিংয়ের মাধ্যমে আমাদেরকে সেবা দিয়ে থাকেন আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় নাজির ভাই আসসালাম আলাইকুম নাজির ভাই থ্যাংক ইউ ফর কামিং থ্যাংক ইউ ফর জানি আপনি অনেক ব্যস্ত মানুষ থ্যাংক ইউ আর আমার ডান পাশে আছেন আপনারা ওনাকে সবাই চিনেন উনি আমাদের সাথে সবসময় থাকেন এবং বিভিন্ন অনুষ্ঠানে উনিও কন্ট্রিবিউট করেন এবং স্পেশালি আমাদের প্রোগ্রামে উনি কয়েকবারই আমাদের সাথে যোগ দিয়েছেন আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় সাইদ ভাই আসসালামু সাইদ ভাই থ্যাংকস ফর কামিং রিয়েলি অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েটেড সুই দর্শক মন্ডলী আমাদের মেইন প্রোগ্রামে যাওয়ার আগে আমরা আপনাদেরকে আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের কুইজ এবং গত অনুষ্ঠানের কুইজের রেজাল্ট বলে দিব গত অনুষ্ঠানের কুইজ ছিল আপনার হু ওয়াজ দি ফাউন্ডার অফ দ্য ফার্স্ট ইন্ডিয়ান রেস্টুরেন্ট অ্যান্ড দি আনসার ইজ বি শেখ দিন মোহাম্মেদ সো আই উড আস সাইদ ভাই না সরি সাইদ ভাই না নাজির ভাই উড ইউ লাইক টু টেক ওয়ান আপ একটু দেখেন কে উইন করলো The winner is Amina from East Ham. Okay. Good choice. Very good. Amina, our price is going to be posted. Our quiz is going to be posted. It's about uh, the Church of England. Who is the Supreme Governor of Church of England? Is it a, one, a Prime Minister? Number two, the Queen? Number three, Archbishop of Canterbury? আমাদের স্ক্রিনে একটু পরে এইটা স্ক্রোল হবে আপনারা যথারীতি আমাদেরকে একটু উত্তর দিয়ে দেবেন আমাদের ইমেল অ্যাড্রেসে পি এন বি অ্যাট চ্যানেল আই ইউরোপ ডট টিভি আমাদের প্রথম সেগমেন্টে যেটা আমাদের থাকে সেটা হচ্ছে যে পলিটিক্যাল ওপিনিয়ন আমাদের সাথে মোটামুটি একজনই বলা যায় যে পলিটিশিয়ান আসেন তো আমি ওনাকেই জিজ্ঞেস করবো আমাদের পলিটিক্যাল ওপিনিয়ন সাইদ ভাই ওয়া উড বি ইয়োর পলিটিক্যাল হাইলাইট ওর ওয়া উড ইউ লাইক টু শেয়ার উইথ আস in political terms that has captured your mind a recent a, a recent pol- political view would be uh, a greece the recent greece election yeah we can talk about that which uh, was on sunday which was on sunday indeed yes and i think the importance of that election was that uh, just for two vote two seats i think they had to be a coalition yeah and and the uh, uh, amazing thing is this that the far left wing uh, party has has actually joined the right wing mm-hmm. you know to just to get the seat and and also i think their plan is to come out from europe and etc so th- that is something but do you uh, think that they can really come out of europe i, I don't think so it, it's difficult it's very very difficult to come out from europe because once once you're in, in there it, it is difficult to come out because you're going to have to contribute just like the others so 
in my view, it's quite difficult to come out. Right. They, they, they think they can, by making that correlation, maybe they can come out, but I, I don't think they can come out. Uh, way. European Union, it has a treaty, right now. The correct country Judy we're going to come out of this EU. Can they really do it in terms of legality? Uh, it's not so easy, and especially for Greece. I mean, we know that a few years ago, uh, Greece was about to be bankrupt. Mm. European Union went there to bail them out. Yeah. So on that basis, and um, having a, such a fragile economy, mm. I think it would be difficult for them to come out from the EU. Basically, they're... they're the whole country is bankrolled by Europe and mainly Germany. Yeah. Exactly, and IMF. exactly, and, and um, some um, developing economy. Those are not so much advanced to develop like Greece or Portugal or other countries or Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. They have a lot to gain yeah. from the EU mm -hmm. than lose. So it would be uh, suicidal for them to come out from the EU. It is uh, pretty much a economical slap in the Western country, then right? exactly. because uh, Greece it, it was a it is a Western country. It was actually it is yeah. a it was a thriving it economy. South, South <coughs> exactly. And um, especially uh, some developed economy like Germany, United Kingdom or Italy, I mean they can say that we are planning to come out or they mm -hmm. may go through. Mm -hmm. But for some Again, it's a very long and very difficult, uh, process. difficult process. Monibai, in, but in, in terms of economy, do you see it going back to Dragma in leaving uh, the Euro? Well, this guy, the Prime Minister, he's not saying he's going to go out. He's, he's saying he's, he's going, going to negotiate. Negotiate. Mm -hmm. oh, his, his terms are very, very stiff, very you know, difficult to meet. He wants all the you know, debts to be written off, which is not possible. No. Because if it is done, then there are countries, Spain, Portugal, and there will be a whole lot of other countries, even Italy mm. and France. Would like to follow suit. France. And 2%, uh, Greek contributes only 2% of the whole European economy. If they are struggling with Greek, mm. can you imagine what would happen if Italy or France says, well, we want to get out and we want, we, we want to move. I know. Within, within with most of the country technically bankrupt, yes. apart from Germany, most of the big economic countries, uh, powerful countries in the Europe are bankrupt technically. Mm -hmm. They don't have money. No, Simple that's, that's what I was going to say. Now, they what would happen, I, 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 I would imagine what would happen, the, uh, Italy and France will use the election of this guy as an example. Look, if the far right government is formed in Greece because of austerity mm -hmm. and in, in collision with far left, left yeah. sorry, left. Yes. Then what would happen if it happens to our country in mm. France? You will throw me out and Le Pen will come. Mm. If, it, if you throw out, uh, what is the, guy, what's the, the um, Italian? Monty. Monty, then this guy come on, the other guy, uh, uh, I forgot his Pasado, name. Pasadomo Nakijani. He's, he's, part, uh, he's, he's Spanish party. Okay. I uh, forgot his name. He will come. So careful, don't go further with the austerity with us. Mm. We'll suffer, and if, when we suffer, it will be all out. Sure. Finish. So at the end of Sometime? it, at the end of it, I mean, do you think that um, it's all down to the f money that people are disarray? They're voting because they don't have enough money in their pocket. Actually, they, they can't bring food to the table. Actually, the country is because, bankrupt because it had four four governments yeah. within five years. Yeah. You know. see, this, the result is this: the austerity has been so severe in, in, in Greece. They are, they, they are humiliated. One third one third population is below poverty line. Mm. Young people have got no job, and they are like you know like beggars. Mm. People are well, more. Some of the people are living on. But literally begging in the street. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy is a young guy, charismatic guy, mm -hmm. and he's a, he's a communist by you know yeah. by his training by his training. Yeah. Now, this guy is. I, I don't think he, he's doing some posturing. I don't think he will go out of Europe. In, in, impossible. They will able to survive. Mm -hmm. How? Why? From why you'll get the money? They are virtually bankrupt. 
He all, all he's trying to is going for a stiff negotiation position. Mm. Very difficult to de negotiate with them. But he will go for extreme and then he'll come back. Uh, it's always like that. You know, look, we look at the America. What Bill Clinton did was impossible to be, can be done by any right wing president like Bush or anything. Mm -hmm. he, he said everything about welfare state, everything about this and that. But when it comes to power, when he, when he came to power, he actually gave the right, right winger doses to left winger hands. Mm -hmm. You remember how he so, managed? I mean, let's come back to Europe for a minute. Do you think that is going to have a knock on effect on England, this Greece and its election? Do you think people might think in England that if a communist party can come through the back door and become a prime minister, why can't a smaller organization Free party. like UKIP and think the others that will, can I do? don't think that will uh, play an important role in the UK politics. British voters are very well educated, well informed. But sometimes we see political leaders, they just utter rhetoric mm. as a tool, negotiating tool to mm -hmm. gain something from the Europe as well as to convince the voter. For example, if we look back a few, few, few weeks ago, uh, British Prime Minister, he put seven point in an article in the um, uh, Telegraph that if conservative comes to power, he will try to sort this out by seven points from, from the European Union. Sure. So it, it doesn't mean that I mean he will come out or he will lead the UK to be isolated from the Europe. Sure, sure. So he will try to achieve a lot from the EU. Yeah, so. that, that, that's all good. I mean, people do say things and they might not able to deliver. For example, liberals didn't able to deliver on their student fees. But when it comes to something like the economy, you know, I think everybody's quite quite careful what they say. Exactly. But I think this guy, the the new prime minister, Alexis. I think he's he's so a bit um, care you know careless on this because he he stood on the on the basis that he will bring uh, Greece out of EU, uh, and that's why people <coughs> voted him in. What do you think? Um, it's, very it's very fragile, like the other colleagues said. Politically, economically, po politically, in Greece? I think if they come out from Europe and if they do come out. I think they will put them their self into more danger in terms of the public. I mean, like we've heard from a colleague there that they are mostly beggars. There are not enough jobs out there. Mm. I mean, if you don't have food on table, mm. what would you do? For example, let's talk about here. If we didn't have enough jobs, enough food, enough enough a uh, income on the table, what would we do? So if we look at on today's shoulder, I think uh, this new uh, prime minister, he, he's a very pushy guy, I think. He's trying to do whatever he can, maybe wants to encourage the people, I will do this, do it by me. But at the end, the result would be very difficult for the country because coming out from Europe, you will have no more partners, you will have no more supporters. Then what would you do alone yourself? Mm, where would good. you where would you get the help? Yeah. Because you will have no more partners. Then there's no one there for you. So it's a very sensitive issue when you want to come out from Europe. Even bigger countries, you know, they don't have the strength to come out also. Yeah. It's, it's a process there. So I hope that things get better for them. But as, okay. a, as a nation, we'll I think... To your question, Lisa. Yeah. Uh, since Second World War, we have been seeing that in British politics, two parties are dominating. Mm either conservative or uh, Labour. And I don't think there will be a significant difference in the next election. And uh, I, I doubt that... There might be a slight dent, but not, not, not different. <laughs> yes. exactly. uh, in, t in terms a of a nation, dent. I think Greek, uh, Greece is, is a very proud nation because they have quite what, what we see is that... What we, what we see is that an influx of Europeans coming from, like, you know... Eastern Europeans, even French, um, then uh, Italians, Spanish, but we hardly see any Greeks on the streets or, yeah. or coming to England to survive or to work. Or to, so I think that as a nation, they're very proud. They're very proud. They don't want to go. Exactly. They, if they have to die, they kind of have to die there and they have to, 
you know. We have, so we have, we have something to, to, to our discussion here. I mean, most of the Greeks, I mean, uh, I mean uh, whatever I learned from newspaper or watching television, uh, they're saying that we have nothing, nothing else to lose. Quote the famous guy, Karl Marx, mm -hmm. a, a, a worker has nothing to lose except his freedom. Sure. So these guys are saying, look, we have nothing to lose. We, we have been humiliated. We have been made re poor and reduced to penury, and we cannot uh, survive. So let's go, go fight and all out and get something. So this is what the position they have taken. But this guy, Alex, is, um, he's a communist, definitely, far right, radicals. Mm. Uh, he will not take in any way take Greece out of um, Europe. Europe. Because he knows at the end of the day. That was not going to help. Not going to help. Because okay. he has to start all over again. Yeah. And he will be the last bottom country even in the if whole he does, League of Nations. Even if he does, the last government sold out everything, like their museums, everything. their uh, buildings, everything no. that they have no. as government no. resource. Exactly, exactly. They have sold but it to foreigners. They have, they have you know, it was an auction. So they, they had to raise that money through that. Exactly. They have some kind of a big grievance against oligarch. Yeah. That, that thing, the oligarch never pay taxes. They never pay taxes, taxes. Sure. Any taxes. The hide. That's, that's something and, else. And that corruption happened, is this, quite yeah, corruption high. Corruption is wrong, rampant. And that practice, that practice has encouraged the, uh, the poorer people, middle class, not to pay taxes. <laughs> this is the whole crunch of it. So Alexis, Alexis, um, as he will go for oligarch. He will try to strangle them. Uh, but what is the problem? The main problem is this, both in the case of France, both in the uh, case of Italy, and as well as um, Greece, they are not able to, they haven't been daring to do structural reforms in the economy, mm -hmm. which Margaret Thatcher did, which Germany did. Yes. None of these countries so did. So basically, if you come, if we come back to what we are saying, that you know, in terms of economy, he's not getting anybody from his people as through taxation. taxation yeah. He hasn't got any serious income because everything's sold out mm -hmm. from the services to everything. So the only way to get some money is through e Euro, through mm -hmm. EU. Yeah. EU and IMF and, uh, and other, uh, other institutions. But they do, they do have some good heritage uh, the within the countries. The, to the tourists does play a vital role. People are role. afraid to go there yeah, now they because are. they get money. Security is an issue, yeah, but I think uh, they are a proud no, no, nation, no doubt, but uh, in terms of the economy, I think they've got to think positively it's best if they stay together. If they stay no, together, they have to restructure their economy. Yeah. The fundamental to. problem is this, their structure is... And one of the first one is to eliminate corruption and, exactly. and corruption. bring in taxation. Not but really how can you do that when, when most of the, and the oligarchs privileges, are... Privileges given to them. Uh, to, to the working class, yeah. and the, 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 the sorry, labor, labor people, laborers, labor people, and they are they're untouchables. As a result, what happened? Oligarch. They said, okay, if you don't re reform, if you don't help yourself, we'll help ourselves. Yeah. So they didn't pay any taxes. Mm -hmm. So being on the EU, they need to reform. Yeah. I think country like uh, Greece can't afford to um, leaving the EU. They need to reform tax system. Corruption needs to be contained or minimized, and also I think uh, good governance needs to be brought in. Mm -hmm. Sidebay. Yeah. Last word. Um, well, I think we, we've talked about them. I think politically, uh, they need to reform. No doubt about that. And I think also corruption plays a major role in the country. If you can have your law and orders in place, and that that's something I think you will have a lot of people coming and, and visiting your country and where you will have more money coming in in terms of tourism and et cetera. So, so that's very important for the country to have. Uh, if we go back where we come from, Bangladesh and others. We, we have a lot of history, a lot of heritage. The country is growing on its own will uh, with public health. And the poor are surviving. But the law and order is an issue. Mm -hmm. It's a major issue there, but it's still surviving. Mm -hmm. you know? And where we have a country in Europe, 
If government has to do something. Government have to do something. If they reform, doing something. Yes, doing but, but if they reform, just like if they, but where the law and what is in, in place England, in England, England is doing well because they have restructured the so, economy back in Margaret Thatcher time. Germany is doing good because of the restructuring they did doing before Merkel. Merkel. So Bangladesh is doing well because they are doing right process. Nothing grows, well, nothing. But I think nothing grows out of nothing. Nothing grows out of nothing. I think, I think nothing. the corruption wise I mean, is. I think Bangladesh has just got one of the best finance minister Bangladesh ever had. Okay. Even that's though he, he talks sometimes that's good for very, us. Very, very, good to know. very out of out of context. Contents. But but he is one of the best finance minister Bangladesh ever had. Look at this seven percent he was predicting. Yes. Otherwise, the seven percent is a dream for any country. Even China struggling. India struggling. India well, struggling. Well, I, 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 I don't think Bangladesh has I doubt it very much. <laughs> but I don't think a country like Bangladesh. Uh, well, it's doing good in its own way, yeah. and uh, on, Western on, countries... On all being, accounts, I mean, being I'm a student of country, economics, and I studied uh, economics very, very keenly. In my view, just a second. In my view, Bangladesh, 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 is still Bangladesh has been doing well because of private entrepreneurs sure. and expertise mm. contribution, not That's because right. of finance ministers. And, 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 and the I think contribution I from here. So. We are talking about restructuring in Europe. Why not restructuring Bangladesh? But we're talking about nothing grows out of nothing. Somebody has to do something. Yes, you have sure. to facilitate the entrepreneurs. Of course, laws has to be. There, in, there are there are a lot of ups and downs in every country. No, 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 but I'm not talking about Bangladesh becoming a first world country. Look at the England. I think it will take another it, 50 it years. <laughs> but years. But we are Monibai. proud of Bangladesh. Why it the right things. We have to go on a break. What a, yes. what suddenly, why credit belongs to if we credit. Monibai. Talking about law and order. Greece. Yes. Uh, suddenly Problem. we cannot compare Monibai. with the main We have to go on a break. What are the Bangladesh? Monibai, we'll continue this later on. No, let me say this in this segment. The indices of economies, Bangladesh economy, is best, even better than all European countries. Monibai, hold that thought. Come we'll the, come back. Come, okay, you don't love it. No, no, give me, hold, I give you an example. No. Hold that, no, hold you, that thought. We have to go on a break. You love it, you have to give me the reason. Monibai, no. This, hold that thought. This, we have to go on a break. We'll come back and reserve is better. Shri Darshak Pandali, I'm going to go to break. 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 The you, next uh, agenda is freedom of speech. I'm going to go to break. I'm going to go to break. Welcome back to our show. Uh, our second segment will be talking about uh, freedom of speech. We have seen that 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 we have এবং এগুলি সবই হচ্ছে আপনার আমাদের ফ্রিডম অফ স্পিচ যেটা আন্ডার ফ্রিডম অফ স্পিচ যেটা কত দূর যেতে পারে কি হতে পারে এন্ড হু ইজ ইউ নো হোল হু ক্যান বি হোল্ড অ্যাকাউন্টেবল এগুলি নিয়ে আমরা এই সেগমেন্টে কথা বলবো কিন্তু এই অনুষ্ঠানের সেগমেন্টে যাওয়ার আগে আমি আমাদের কুইজটা আপনাদেরকে আবার রিমাইন্ড করে দিচ্ছি আজকে আমাদের কুইজ হচ্ছে হু ইজ দি সুপ্রিম গভর্নার অফ Church of England, number one, the Prime Minister, number two, the Queen, number three, Archbishop of Canterbury. I want to screen it, scroll it, I want to give you an email address, which is pnb at channel i.org. Thank you, Shubhan. 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 Freedom of speech, said by where do we draw the line? Uh, what is your opinion on freedom of speech? Freedom of, freedom of speech, very sensitive issue. Uh, all I would say, all I would say this, Ahmed Bay, uh, if you look at the TV, newses, papers, 
I just want to give an example of what the Pope said. He raised, simply he said, if you speak about my mother, you'll get a punch. What does that give you? What does that, you know, give you? I mean, s simply that I think expressing our feelings in terms of uh, whatever, uh, religion-wise or your feelings, who you are, your beliefs, I think this is where somewhere we have to draw a line. And, and, and the Pope gave us an example in terms of religion. I think uh, it's not nice when you start mocking around with mm. religions and others. Mm. And I think that's where somewhere we've got to draw a line and look and think about it before we do something. I'm, I'm not talking about just one religion. I'm, I'm talking about in terms all of religions. all religions. Okay. And, and I think a po the Pope said, gave it a very good example. And, and then again, the Guardian, was it the Guardian paper or the Times? Independent? The Times, I believe, yeah. And, and if you look at it, nobody done nothing to them, did the culture mm -hmm. they had there. And nobody has said nothing to them that, and they got away with it. So things like this, I think it's got to be sensitive, it's got to be very uh, actors knowledgeable and I think uh, we have very much protection also mm -hmm. and that gives us protection. I think there is protection. Uh, Nazire, you're, you're, uh, you're in the legal field. The, what is the legal jargons? Where do we, where do we draw the line? The, you know, there are a lot of acts. Thank you. Actually, freedom of speech is a very important recently because of what happened in France. Mm. I said we utterly condemn what had happened in France. Sure. Yes. And we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that especially those who had committed this heinous crime, mm. they had done disservice to the religion. Islam is a religion of peace. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of uh, association, freedom, freedom of thought, those are fundamental and demo democratic right. But those are not absolute right. For example, there are some right which are absolute right. For example, um, European Convention on Human Rights has been incorporated in the UK law in 2000 by the Human Rights Act. Article 3 said, no one shall be subjected to inhuman and degrading treatment. This is unlimited, absolute right. But freedom of speech, freedom of association are not absolute right. Mm. There are some limitations that can be imposed, <coughs> imposed by the state. Especially Article 9 to Article 10 to Article 11 to has spelt out and categorized mm. when state can interfere on those rights, mm. limit those rights. So it's not unqualified, unlimited rights. Mm. You can do whatever you want. This is not freedom of uh, speech or... Thought. But is there anything specific on um, a religious act, that freedom of religion well, especially or intolerance if of other religion? Uh, in this country, there are some law which protects Christianity. Unfortunately, not so much law that can protect other religion, special blasphemy law. Um, of course, freedom of speech can be um, intervened, curtail limited, mm. because of national security uh, for other other freedoms, racial hatred, etc. But um, strictly, uh, Islam and other religion has not given so much protection as was given to Christianity, mm. and uh, England is a multi multicultural country, multicultural That's society. Right. I think law should be wide enough mm. to cover other religion. So we need amendments? I think so. Okay. Especially, for example, Danish cartoon. Mm. Danish cartoon, when it was written, it was written in request back to your guest, like a cartoon, mm. Christianity, uh, your before. But it was written because it will cause outcry, mm. outrageous to the mm. Christian community. Mm. The Danish cartoon, the Prophet Muhammad the Ruper, got attacked. Out cry, why not? Exactly. Out is why not? Among, besides, more than one billion Muslims living in this earth. Mm. So that their sensitivity, their respect, should be respected. Um, 
Najib bhai, uh, uh, we just got a phone call. Tapra Moni Moni bhai kasar. Si Moni bhai, I mean, phone call to niyani. Assalamu alaikum. Caller, ke bolchen, kotha ke bolchen? Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Caller. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Ke bolchen? Caller ke jabal alaikum. Ji ke bolchen? Hello. I think I think I think the caller is calling somewhere else. Um, I think we'll go back to our program. I think the caller uh, was calling somewhere else. But anyway, um, just a slightly different matter uh, related to this. In China, they have a law. Uh, which I've read up, I think they're called Article 24 or something, which protects all religion. But re in recent events, we've seen that in China, uh, in the Xinjiang province, you cannot have beard, you cannot have... So having, fast, having the law, fast, yeah. but it's not been implemented. Yeah. So it's good enough to have laws. Some places don't have laws, but some places have laws. But if we don't implement it, where do we draw the line? Loss is us. <laughs> Where do we draw the line? Well, actually, the laws are, are not absolute laws. Laws are made by, made, made by man, I believe. All laws are made by man, people, to, the, to suit their convenience. Unfortunately, uh, this problem with the religious sentiments and, um, and this criticism by this uh, cartoonist, me magazine, Charlie Abdu, mm. Uh, it hurts Muslim feelings, definitely. Uh, it goes without saying. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, uh, i just give you an example, and then I'll say my opinion. One day, I bought a book called God's Delusion by Richard Dawkins. I bought it from Western, coming by, by underground, and then popped into my local shop to buy cigarettes and newspapers, and he saw the book in my hand. And he said, he's an English owner, I think. He said, you are very lucky, gentlemen. I said, why? If you were born 200 years ago, your, hand, your head would have been chopped three times by the time you come to my house, shop. I said, why? Is, is, it is because of enlightenment that I've been spared? <laughs> said, yes. 200 years ago, any, anyone carrying this book, God deletion, had, his head would have been chopped from the, head, from the body. And I, this explains why it's not... In Western world, they have view. Of and the they separated people. religion to state. Exactly. they has been separated since it started from the 16th century. Mm. And unfortunately, we haven't gone through that process. There is some various, mm. there is some problems. We, uh, well, actually, our problem started from the 13th century since the departure of Abbasid dynasty. Free thinking, itijahad, has not been practiced since. 800, uh, 800 years. In this, in this regard, I refer a book called uh, Thought of Muslims, uh, Problem of Islam by a lady, a writer from Canada, a uh, Muslim lady, uh, Ishad, Ishad Hamzi or something. She wrote a book on that. Now, I read the book and found out the difference between the Western society and our society, Muslim society in England, there is a clashing. There's a clash in there somehow. Mm -hmm. And unless that clash, clash the ingredient, in, grains of this clash is removed, the, the host nations, people, have to be, you know, they have to be respectful to our sentiments. Mm. Otherwise, there will be clash all the time. Mm. Now, how we get over this clash? Until, until we enlighten ourselves with the enlightenment of the 18th, 19th, 20th century of uh, England or European model. We really cannot cope with this pressure. Mm. But, uh, you know, having the state and the religion separate, as you said, but on the other hand, as Nazibai said, blasphemy acts to protect the Christianity. So isn't it, uh, you know, I'm saying religion is, is not part of the state, but the state is protecting Christianity. So why cannot the state, you know, expand into, is it, I say that it, is, it is somewhat is protecting no, in Europe, all over Europe, protecting anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. um, in England, where 
adding on the Christianity. Mm -hmm. So why can't we add on other religions? Uh, exactly. I mean, the, 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 uh, the, the arrival of Muslim population in Europe is recent, not very old one. Mm. In, it's only maybe at, at best 100 years. Now, the Christians, uh, Jewish are held for the last, well, for five centuries, I think, or even before that. And they had a Jewish prime minister here, yeah? Mm. Benjamin Israeli. Israeli. Yeah. Now, and, they, and twice they have been thrown out of the England, you know that. Jewish mm. people thrown out of England twice because of their misdeeds. So, <laughs> if I'm in the oh, Dark Ages. Dark, it's not Dark Ages. Just after? No, three, 300 years ago. Okay. Before um, the Industrial Revolution. Okay. I mean, they, they were allowed it because of the Industrial Revolution. Without, industry, without them, the Industrial Revolution wouldn't happen in England. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah. Now, yes, in this country where Queen is the head of the state and Queen is the head of charge. That's contradictory. Okay. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah. So who is going to say? But she doesn't have a say in parliament. <laughs> well, so the she's argument is she's not really part of the she's state. She's, she's, going to you know, she's power. a token position. No. You know. uh, in the no. 1980s, I mean, uh, when uh, there was an outcry on the Salman Rushdie issue. Yes, <coughs> that's another. The big, matter was yeah. taken to the High Court by way yeah. of judicial review. His head was. Asked by the Iranian yeah. government, isn't it? So. And the matter, especially protection of uh, Islam in the UK, was challenged in the uh, High Court by way of judicial review. I think uh, quite a few days uh, the hearing went ahead. And lastly, the court um, gave the body judgment saying that uh, the current law, existing law, only cover Christianity. And it doesn't cover other religion. However, it is a matter for the parliament to decide. So Parliament can Since easily not, been decided. not decided. So Parliament can easily widen extend. the law, yeah. extend the law to cover. And I think because of um, uh, Monivai rightly said, Muslim <coughs> arrival has been gradually recently. So now more than three million Muslims in the UK. Mm -hmm. So their rights, interest, and sensitivity needs to be protected mm -hmm. in order to have a cohesion, coexistence in the society. Mm -hmm. So I think law should widen to cover not Islam, only Islam, sure. to all other religion. If monarchy is protected, mm. anti-Semitism is protected, protected yeah. if Christianity is protected, gayism is protected, exactly. lesbian is protected, you, you know, sexuality, can't, You can't do or can't yes. say anything you like here. You yes. will be overburdened by other laws, yeah. controlled by other laws. So I why think, not cover Islam? I think, Najibai, um, and for the panel to know that I've learned that there's a petition yeah. going on to have a debate in the Commons um, to raise a question to add religion into the Act. And uh, I think, if I'm not wrong, Saeed, but correct me if I'm wrong, the deadline is tonight. So whoever can get online can sign the petition. They need 100,000 signatures to, to, to get this debate into the House of Commons. If it's 100,000 signatures, it has to be debated. The speaker has to take it to the Commons to, to, to do it. So viewers who are watching and our panelists, uh, do go online and look for this uh, 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 petition, online petition, and put your name down to it for the debate. There's no harm in having a debate. Mm -hmm. You know, the debate is only a start. So, But with this, I mean, in my opinion, our politicians, especially mainstream politicians, they need to have right <coughs> mindset and focus. I mean, uh, billions of Muslims around the world, uh, they have a stake there. Their sensitivity need to be protected. And it's not like um, every religion, every society have extremism. So mm. extreme people are very tiny, tiny minority. Yeah. So they- It's always been. Exactly, I mean, if you are allowed to do anything to demonize yeah. religion- The whole of Germany cannot be then some extreme blamed for people Hitler. Can take, yeah, <laughs> some people extreme can take this as an advantage, <coughs> opportunity to do whatever they want to do, yeah. what they have done in France. So in order to contain that, I think our mainstream politicians should come forward mm. to um, be more generous to widen the law to cover other religion so that extremism, extremist individuals, few minority, tiny minority, do not get an opportunity mm. to make Islam as a sacrificial lamb, to do whatever they want to do. Thank you, Nadebe. Uh, Said I, I believe that, uh, especially...
Sorry, go on. I had a question for you. Okay. Especially in this country, uh, rightly, uh, Nazir Rai said about the three billion Muslims. Uh, we do have scholars, leaders, uh, politicians. I think that it's about time that we work with the government, and the government need to inclusively work with the Muslim community more in order to address these issues. Because it is very uh, dangerous what happened in France. It's no religion does that. I'm sorry, this is not Islam. Mm -hmm. This is not Islam. That this is was not my what question. Was that justified? What the two brothers no, have done. I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim I mean, myself. They didn't, they didn't and live to see it themselves. I'm, I'm sorry, me, uh, me being a Muslim, a British Muslim, this is not my thought. This is not Islam. This is, this is a complete. So if it was you, how would you have dealt with it? In terms of? The, the two brothers went down and killed these people because of this picture being you know, uh, brought out. How would you, or, or a Muslim, another Muslim, you would have expect I mean, to deal with if it? I, if I, if is I, it through dialogue or is it through... I think, I think a dialogue, debate, all that is very important. And, and don't forget there was another Muslim who police died, officer yeah. who died saving public. Yeah. And also another Muslim pregnant woman died. So yeah. they're a Muslim. So these... And there was another Muslim black... Boy who yes, in, in the another shop, five another five. So Jewish in, come the, on, in the they, refrigerator. And, and these are Muslims also. Yeah. So, so we can they have see... They the opportunity of joining, joining them, them instead of they try to... Protecting it. Protect, so, yeah. so if you see, that's a classical example. So I think in order to fight, it's, it is a fight for all. Yeah? And I think we need to be in more dialogue, debate, and the politicians here, we need to work with the government in terms of what Nazibai just said about the other religions not being protected as such. I think that's very important that we should, and that petition is very important for us. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about time that we politicians from our community, Muslim community, that we should be upholding that yeah. with the I government. Mean, from your, your party, Baroness Warsi has she has come has out, come out and, yes. and made a statement. A statement. That we she the has. Should be yes. listening. I think on uh, I've read the full statement, and she did say that uh, the discussion was the took in a high level. Yeah. That she wasn't satisfied in terms of the Gaza issues and mm. all that, and and she wasn't. So she had resigned, and now that she's coming out with the truth because she's no longer there. So, Do you think other politicians should uh, stand with her and voice the same? I think, I think so. so. I think so. I and just one addition, I mean, what Saeed Bhai said, the best proof of loving Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is to learn about him, to mm. know about him, and follow what he has done yes. in his lifetime. There is not a single incident Prophet has done what um, two brothers had done in the front. Yeah. Rather, on the contrary, Prophet had tolerated torture, humiliation. These are the um, um, treasures of uh, Islam mm. and religion. So I think probably we should learn more about Prophet, how he we had it. We have a lot of kind of intolerance in, in religion from back in the ages. I mean, some well, of the movies that we see, I, Jesus I, was I, hanged I, up. I intolerance, time? yes. Am I allowed to say that, I was coming to you. Okay. In, intolerance of. Um, no, no, that's the history. Yeah. History of humankind, human being. Tell me any time when there was. No. Fighting, no killing, no murder, no killing. Tell me any time in yeah. history. Since religion was invented, tell me any time. A year passed without fight, war, killing, bloodbath, destruction, death. Not a single year you will not find. It happened, happened, happened every, every year, every time. Why? Because religion sometimes, unfortunately, overbears. Overbears, and it evolves, uh, it helps extremism. Mm -hmm. Either with action, or deeds, misdeeds, or with, you know, other, other activities. And religion is very close to everybody's heart, isn't it? So yet, whatever yet, religion they are. Yet people fight every year, more than once every year on religion. Yeah. Even even same religion people, religious people, same religion. Yeah. Fighting among themselves. Shia, Sunnis, Shia, Sunnis Romans and you know Catholics. But, but love and respect. No, 
what Moniba said. I totally disagree that religion helps extremism. It's not religion. I mean, some people are misguided, I mean, I misguided or, or, or Moniba misled. Moniba was trying to say is that it can be predicted. I mean, a lot of people take parts of Islam. Well, it's, it's, and it's, it's like the any, brothers, they said, they, for example, for we're going about, on a jihad. Forget, yeah, on a, you know, forget about religion. What about communism, socialism? There yeah. are some extreme people. I mean, Lord, everything should be dealt with, 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 with the full, concise of well, it. Socialism not just is 100 years it. old. Not and just part religion of it. is thousands of years old. I, uh, can I come in for a minute? Yeah, sure. Uh, a classical example, a friend of mine, he's non Muslim, by the way, uh, said to me, Who is Muhammad? Coming back to your point about learning about our Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I think the more we talk about our role model, he is a leader for us, for the Muslim. He is a true role model for us. And like he said, he has taken a lot of tolerance, a lot of argument, a lot of suffer in terms of his journey. And none of the non-Muslims read about him a lot. It's about finding out who he is, and telling those people also about Muhammad. I don't think a lot of actual Muslims read about him Thank you. as much. So <laughs> then this, they, this, they have gone, this guy done this. actually researched a bit about Muhammad, and he did get the true color out of it. I mean, I, then what he did, these are the points he gave me. Those are the people who actually said about Muhammad that he was a true, 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 Legendary leader. In any, any spectrum, he has been uh, known as the greatest leader. He's yes. led, led uh, uh, an ummah. During his <coughs> time, people became Muslim. I just want Not to being feared or threatened. No. Sure. I mean, they became Muslim he by never. seeing his conduct, I've got his wisdom. Literally 30 seconds. Kindness. I just want to say one thing. Munibai, you know, when Prophet Muhammad used to go, there's a story about this old woman who, when he used to go to a mosque and they used to put pricks on I'm the road. Sorry. And, and at that time, Prophet Muhammad had a lot of sahabas. They were, you know, sahabas that can take your head off in one slash, mm -hmm. you know. But nobody went and killed this woman. Nobody put a, laid a finger on her. But when this woman was ill, Prophet Muhammad went over to her to see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. And then she took Islam. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was his teachings, mm -hmm. that was his sahabas mm -hmm. who are more jihadists than any other person that you can think of. Mm -hmm. They didn't go around kill people for the sake oh, of killing. Oh, 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 you know. So did you think that, you know, today, well, well a few days ago. Can when, I talk? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A few days ago when this thing happened. Muhammad, he set lots of examples up, not one. How many of Muslims, Muslims follow yeah. it? None of them. I, I, I don't find any one close to me as Muslims follow it. Yeah. None of them. I couldn't find any one of them yet. So if it's followed follow properly, Muhammad. then it would have been... Of course, it would be a better place. But it's all hypocrite. That's the problem. Monibai, thank you. With that thought, we're going to go on break. Shri Dashapundali, I'm Rest Freedom of Speech Shavan Shulam, Bivunna Amadar Panel Rekastake. I'm Rekta Choto Breke Jabu, I'm Rekta Choto Breke Jabu, I'm Rekta Alap Korbo Inflation Shavan De. I'm Rekta Chate Thakun. Welcome back to our show, Politics and Beyond. I am our third segment of our show. We have a reminder of our question. Who is the Supreme Governor of Church of England? Is it one, the Prime Minister, two, the Queen, three, Archbishop of Canterbury? We have a question about the question and the possible answer. We have a question about the possible answer. We have a question about the possible answer. We have an email address which is pnb at channelieurope.tv. 
আমাদের এই সেগমেন্টটা আমরা কথা বলবো ইনফ্লেশন সম্বন্ধে আমাদের হেডলাইন হচ্ছে ডিফ্লেটেড ইনফ্লেশন আপনারা সবাই জানেন যে গত সপ্তাহে আমাদের ইনফ্লেশন রেট রিপোর্ট বেরিয়েছে আমাদের ইংল্যান্ডে এবং সারা পৃথিবীর মধ্যে হিস্টোরিক্যালি সবচেয়ে লো ইনফ্লেশন রেট বর্তমান ইংল্যান্ডে ইট ইজ অ্যাট হাফ এ পার্সেন্ট এবং সিমুলটেনিয়াসলি এটা আমাদের যে ইন্টারেস্ট রেট সেটাও হাফ এ পার্সেন্টে আছে এবং সেটা সম্বন্ধে আমি মনিবাইয়ের কাছ থেকে ফার্স্টে জানতে চাবো মনিবাই দি ইনফ্লেশন রেট ইস নাও অ্যাট হাফ এ পার্সেন্ট অ্যাজ আই সেড সো অ্যান্ড দি ইন্টারেস্ট রেট ইজ হাফ এ পার্সেন্ট ডু ইউ থিঙ্ক দিস ইজ হেয়ার টু স্টে নাও ইস নো গুড টু স্টে রিসেন্টলি ইট হ্যাজ বিন ফোর দ্য ফোর থ্রি ইয়ার্স ইন্টারেস্ট রেট বেস ইট উইল নট গো ডাউন ইন ফার্দার ইফ ইট গোজ ফার্দার ট্রাভেল উইল will come very serious trouble will come because this is the only way they can stop stop deflation coming into the economy mm. if it goes beyond like europe it goes beyond mm. well one beyond zero now the mm. inflation interest rate has to go up um, no interest has to go up in, in, uh, in england it will go up another 18 months to two years time not before that what the interest rate or the inflation rate? interest rate in order to curb the in, 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 uh, uh, inflation inflation okay. if inflation is increased and it goes downwards if interest rate is it's the stop gap if uh, yes if interest rate goes to zero and inflation goes to zero then it is full blown deflation there's no way you can come out of it without a long long time We something like what, japan japan at 25 years yeah. still in deflation it goes up go come down goes up come down that's a that's the very vicious cycle now so that's why you're going on a big economics a economics yeah. yes He's trying uh, to if, get the inflation, if the inflation if the inflation comes to zero mm-hmm. then the government has to raise its before interest, it's going to zero interest to quarters before no, the, this this the government three quarters or one percent our government has taken the right decision they okay. freeze it they will half. not go beyond half okay. if they go beyond half then deflation will set in and now they have stopped it now they're trying to uh, generate activities after after election they will do it before election they cannot do it so much right. they will do it probably to increase the inflation by uh, well they, you need inflation in the economy otherwise there's no business there there will be there will be there will be profit in the in the in balance sheet sure. there will be growth in the asset there won't be any growth in your pro, uh, salary so it is it is it is, it is, it is very unpopular thing mm-hmm. you need to have 2% to 3% inflation any economy mm-hmm. ideally mm-hmm. now as a benchmark the benchmark now is inflation is not increased by increasing the um, by by increasing the spending spree mm-hmm. then is big trouble the most dangerous scenario is this if it goes to zero interest rate if inflation goes to zero and interest goes to zero and the and the interest rate we consumer pay if it starts going down this is what happened in japan mm. because japan then is, you don't have the value of your money and it anyway yeah that's big yes. then you cannot in any way you cannot uh jump the you know jump start the economy mm. no matter no matter how much printing you do how much money you print no matter how much export you do you cannot jump jump start because you need is it the divide we have deflation the main reason is is this when price is falling down year by hour month by month the people who have money they wait mm-hmm. they see well the price will go down further let me see the end of it mm-hmm. when it goes down further and further and further it's a vicious circle it never stop and, and i and the buyer who has money he will not buy he will wait he wait that's a vicious cycle Mm. now it, it, it has to come out it, you have to come out from that s- scenario by either you have to uh, you, you, you have to resort to Keynesian monetarism which is pumping money into the well, economy yes. then you create an, uh, you create employments you cut taxes and you try to but if you print too much money you devaluate your exactly your, your money this is robin this so euro has gone down dollar pound has gone down dollar has gone down uh, america has done 5 trillion dollars printing mm. uh, dollar printing 5 trillion now uh, some stages 
I think England in a better position than the rest of the Europe. In the last speech, Obama said the printing is finished, quantitative easing is finished in the last State of Union speech. He said we have ended quantitative easing, yeah, which is printing. We, oh, yeah. <laughs> common people don't understand, that's yeah, why so they use it this language, <laughs> quantitative easing. Now, you see, trouble with Europe is a big trouble. I think uh, if they cannot confront def deflation very soon, this quantitative easing they, they did just recently, uh, a couple of days back, mm. which will start from February, 1.1 trillion dollar uh, euro. And is not purchased, enough. they have purchased uh, a scheme up to 2016. Uh, 2016, yeah. yeah. They're going to buy bonds, government Mon bonds. And bonds stuff. Yeah. yeah, they have done it in a traditional way. Yeah. Traditional way is the, which Japan did. In England case, uh, the buy bonds, I'm sorry, the Bank of England bought bonds from government. The government pumped the money through the banking system, mm. which is good because the bank was short of capital then. You remember they didn't? Yeah. Uh, so it, was, it did good, good tricks. Now we see the lot of work in the street, road works. Yes. It's a result of this money. Sure. Okay. That, that's created jobs. <coughs> that inflated the poverty prices. But now it's coming down. So there is a danger there. I mean, after, after election, we'll see we'll a clear picture. Clear picture. Nazir Bhai, in terms of politicians, the, the left of the politics, they must be very worried because the current government is keeping the interest low, the inflation low. The other. So the current government, the coalition is doing very good. Well, in terms of economy, it appears to be. I mean, comparatively, they are <coughs> managing uh, comparatively well. Uh, depends on how long the interest rate is going to be. According to money by two years. Probably he may be right, but see how it goes. But probably <coughs> if uh, inflation goes a little bit down, they will be forced to increase the interest rate. As uh, Moniba correctly said, I mean, economy is moving, money generates. I mean, if they are stand still in one place, then there would not be uh, production, GDP would not be uh, increased. I mean, for example, uh, if inflation goes double digit, as we see some mm -hmm. sort of so called mm -hmm. uh, developing countries, about 2%. third world countries yeah. are not good. And inflation, if it is 1%, below 1%, or even uh, negative. negative, then it's not good for uh, yes. economy either. Yeah. So it has to be, uh, inflation should be uh, minimal, uh, reasonable, and um, otherwise economy would not be moving. And so far, so good, uh, especially uh, in terms of economy. Uh, the current government appears to be uh, managing well. Right. And, um, and also partly because of uh, some initiatives taken by uh, Bank of um, England, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, especially new governors who were appointed uh, by this governor a few years ago. So see how it goes. But uh, because of the next general election in May, mm. uh, people's main focus on how uh, main political parties like Labour, uh, Conservative, and how they're going to deliver, gonna deliver and how, what is their promise and what are in the manifesto. Mm. So those uh, uh, need to be uh, clearly assessed and thought, and especially uh, ultimately the voters will uh, decide what to do. Sure. I would come back to side by side by. As a as a conservative, you must be loving it. The you know George Osborne kept the His AAA promise. rating yes. from. You know, it dropped a bit, then it brought it back to AAA, and then um, the inflation and the interest rates slow. Uh, I want to start off with uh, Nazir Bhai, what he said. Uh, the government actually, they have done a fantastic job. I, I want to say this, David Cameron and George Osborne, they have kept to their promise. So the economy. economy, yes. <laughs> I'm coming to economy well, he's and a inflation. So, uh... <laughs> so, so it is good that the interest rate, the mortgage is down, zero, uh, zero percent. Uh, that gives us half a percent. Half a percent. Yeah. That gives us more opportunity to get the mortgage. There's more uh, yeah. uh, lendings is, is there, so uh, that. Uh, in terms of pur purchasing a but house, but if we take what buying, money by saying, in two years' time, if the interest rate starts moving forward, it will be difficult. It will be difficult, but okay. we just have to watch the two year now. Uh, we're because about a typical mortgage is not for two years; it's for 25 years. 
it is for 25 years, but I think they have kept it, he rightly said, they have kept it, and it is on hold, freeze at this moment, and that is something good this government has done, because it's allowing you, it's allowing you to get the mortgage. If the interest rate is more high, then you cannot able to afford the mortgage. Mm -hmm. It would go up. Your pay, sure, pay, yes. pay, payment would go up, up. Yeah. and, and it, is, it, it won't be affordable. So I think if you consider all that, they have kept it in a good place. The inflation is down, uh, which is, uh, that means there's more money. If we're spending a pound, yeah. you are saving 5p. more 5p. Yeah. So that, that is, again, is a good thing for the public, for this country. And, and, uh, and, and that is, this government has done it. And thirdly, I want to say, uh, the, if you look at the GDP, it's on 6%, yeah? So again, that is a good news. Yeah, mm -hmm. so so we, we were talking about gross domestic product, GDP is on six percent. So this government is really trying their best. Where, who who left us to do all this? Of course, it goes back to the uh, previous government who actually left the country in the state. Now, we're only trying to get the economy and the country running to the smooth smooth place, and that is this government is doing. And, and, and the other thing is, I just want to come, come back to a few points. I made some notes in terms of conservative down for uh, this country. Women and families, cost of living, money by. They, they have, they, no, they have, they, they have. He wants to talk they, to you about the cost of living. Co cost of Let's living. Let's hear it out. Yes. 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 Cost of, and, so. and the cost of living, uh, no doubt that, uh, families and women are saving. They are, because the, 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 the well, we're not talking about France, we're talking about here. Because we're not going to go and live in France. We, we have to live here. Yeah. And we'll have, to, we'll, we'll, we'll have to concentrate here. So the fuel duty, duty against 360 saving. Yeah. Come down. Not because of you. Because no. Of no, it's again, it's the government. You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to say it's the government, yeah? So let's, let's stick and let's be clear about that. The mortgage rate is low, kept is low. Bringing uh, energy, yes? The energy bills are coming down and they have 5%. That, that's yeah. another good thing for the, for the public, okay. yeah? Uh, we have uh, health and social care, right? Uh, backing small businesses. 58,000, when you buy 58,000 jobs has been created, created just in London. Just, just in London. No, no, but just in London. We're looking at the good side of it. That is good where we were some years ago. So we are, in a way, positive hands. We are in a positive hands. So we are we're in, in good territory at the moment. Let me give you two examples. I think, uh, have you got any other points? That uh, you all want I to want to say is, yeah. again, this government has given a fantastic opportunities on training and apprenticeships. In terms of economy? Yes. Okay. Economy. So, uh, I, way, uh, all I've got to say is thank you, this government. What uh, uh, Cost of living, as Said Bay said, is coming down. Is it because of the government, or is it because the oil, oil the, price? The worldwide deflation. The oil price has come down below oil, 50, oil, oil, 50, why in France 50 dollars. Why is cheaper than here? Why is cheaper in Italy? Why is cheaper in Portugal? Why is cheaper in Spain? Why because is of the taxation, in, possibly. No, because of deflation. Because of deflation, not because of government policies. The, the European bank, central bank, it's didn't do anything. Which, which, which we should have done three years ago. I didn't interrupt you. Um, three years back, they, they do it now because they are fearful that if if it happens to the last last notches of um, deflation, they finish. They will not come out. Now, trouble is this: this present world situation has started back in early eighties. Uh, From there, it started. From there. All governments, whether labor or conservative, they artificially inflated the economy, resorting only to uh, subsector. And it's all throughout the West to Western world it happened. And that is why the whole world is Western world is suffering at the same time. Apart from England and uh, Germany. No, no, no. America. America. Because they were clever enough to print money before everybody else started. <laughs>
So they lead the way. <laughs> lead the way, which which European unions uh, are following, Ireland for following. Now, just <clears throat> okay. I think next government, whoever comes, will have difficulties. Tremendous difficulties. Tremendous difficulties. To, they will cut down and balance the sheet. Very very difficult for them. They will cut down health. Health will suffer first. They will cut down a lot of other things. To be, to reduce the borrowing, because but the left parties like Labour is saying they're going to weaponize NHS, so probably they're going to pump in more money. Mm. Well, that's the secret way to do it. I think <laughs> that's you know? that's another good thing. That, I mean, every government has secured the core services. They have ring fenced them, whichever it is. It's Labour, Conservative. They have like at the moment, Conservatives ring fenced NHS. I'm sure when Labour comes in, they will do similar mm. kind of think that we're not going to cut anything from this core, core in, things. In order to, say, uh, in order to cut down But deaths, I think what will to, suffer from my experience is, is pretty much the social service, mm. the DSS and, and, and all that will, will, will suffer whichever government, government, government comes in. And other things. Other things but in terms of inflation, you, uh, uh, just one you wanted to, to say something. Yes. I mean, uh, Moniway rightly said, and because of world climate, a lot of things, you know, price, yeah. price have gone down, etc. But politicians always try to take you know, credit of it. Yeah. Um, it's nothing new on this. Okay. But two scenarios, for example, when interest rate was 4 5 percent five, six years ago, a lot of people took mortgage Half, uh, not 0.5 percent or 1 percent above the Bank of England rate. Yeah. Now they are very comfortable, paying yeah. only 1 percent. Yeah. So they are very happy. So because they were at 6 percent, now they are paying 1 percent. 1 percent. Or something. Yeah. Now what's going to happen if interest if rate goes, goes 5, 4, yeah. 6 percent? And another set of people, now they are taking mortgage 4, 5 percent above Bank of England rate. Which is half a percent plus Exactly. Five, 4 now percent. if interest rate goes 5 or 4 percent, Effectively, their mortgage would be nine, eight, nine percent. Eventually, the government will push it up to three percent. So, so you're looking at nine percent. Yeah, it, it it may appear very comfortable for short term, as Moniway said. In the long term, it's going to be big trouble for politicians no, and, right? and for the country. Good, for the country. Good couple of years if the interest rates go. It's like, good, it's, good couple of it years. may not jump for one or two, no, three no, percent. No, it's going to go by quarter. It's, 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 go it's, it's a long. It's, it's but a long I think that's why Bank of England McCarney, who said that he's going to pin it to unemployment, yeah. mm -hmm. when un unemployment was eight percent, and then when a dramatic drop of unemployment, he said, "No, I'm going to shift it to uh, something else. I'm not going to follow unemployment rate because." If he does, he has to increase the interest rate, and then it would have been a bit of a disaster. But, but the deficit because, had been cut. The income they produce by this employed people is not enough. Yes. They, yeah. don't, they don't give any taxes. They don't pay any taxes. Mm. It's so low. And so government so, is not benefited. So talking, talking to this side of the table, the next two, three years seems, sounds quite gloomy. And Great. talking this side of the table seems like it's going to be OK. Well, I think we're in the track, we're in the right direction in terms of our government. They have a long uh, economic plan. So your, we your all thought know is that. that as long as the Conservatives are in, you're going to be OK? Well, I'm not, I, I'm not going to promise to say that we're going to be OK, but I'm sure they will try level best to keep everything as smooth as possible. But according to People, Bolivar, whoever comes that, is going to be very rough, right? Well. Uh, that, that's Moniway's view, but I think, I think, uh, if, 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 if you see the deficit is cut by half already, mm. with the current government, right? So, so I don't see the interest rate is going up for good couple of years because they can't just take it up. Like rightly said, and as everybody, if the interest rate goes up, okay, to three, four, five percent, yeah. how people would afford it? Eight to nine percent. They will lose their homes. They will lose their houses. Yes. So, so government have to play that role. And this government has kept it like this. So there's more money in the pocket. So it's a long economy. We keep saying this. This is not short term. Yeah. This is a long economic plan that they're trying to sort out this country. And, and let's just see what happens. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in the election in, uh, sure. uh, in May. Yeah. It's 100 days left. Apparently, just a, just a quick thought, Monibai and Najibai. Those of you 
who were around would remember the during Margaret Thatcher the interest rate went up to eight percent at one it point. It did. And a lot of people start losing their houses. Yeah. So politicians do uh, remember that and they they understand from that. So I don't think anybody's going to any politician is going to push that up in the near future at any cost. You see this is a global market. It's not controlled by one mm -hmm. chancellor or one minister and Bank of England governor, no. It's controlled by the market. You're going to have the last say, 30 yeah. seconds, so mm -hmm. have the last say and then we're going to finish off. Well, I, I think uh, the, uh, the world is going to, I mean, the Western world is going to a deflation, very serious deflation. And unless they act together, they will, be, they will have a situation like Japan. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, Briefly, at the last, I said uh, government competently doing well in the economy, but yeah. probably not other side, like NHS and other yeah. field. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully government would uh, try its best to um, perform as good as economy. Okay. Other ideas. 30 seconds. What do you predict next uh, two years? I think... Economically. Uh, continue, continue for our long-term plan and will be okay will be okay and let's see what happens in the election okay. and if we can get through to the next election there will be more money saving more money in our public's pocket thank you Said Bay. thank you uh, Moni Bay. Moni Bay and thank you Nazir Bay. Sridhar Shumundli thank you for being with us uh, tonight uh, next week we'll be talking about the Greece election and some other points and the economy of Greece um, until then Khoda Hafiz Asalaamu Alaikum <laughs>